A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 to 35. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. How can I account for the people of this generation? They are like spoiled children complaining to their parents. We wanted to skip road, and you were always too tired. We wanted to talk, but you were always too busy. John the baptizer came fasting, and you called him crazy. The son of man came feasting, and you called him a boozer. Opinion polls don't count for much, do they? The proof of the pudding is in the eating. The Gospel of the Lord Good morning, I am Father Jules Kuti Matthew and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 7 verses 31 to 35. Dancing to the Divine Tune What do children's games have to do with the Kingdom of God? In Jesus' parable, the children are disappointed because no one joins their musical medley. They complain that at weddings, no one dances or sings, and at funerals, it is the same. This echoes Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 4, which says, There is a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. The scribes and Pharisees opposed John the Baptist and Jesus due to jealousy and spiritual blindness. Understanding when God speaks to us becomes easier when we approach everyone with a humble heart. Seeking the divine in the lives of all individuals regardless of their background or status. By keeping an open mind, we allow ourselves to hear God's message through various people and circumstances. What makes us spiritually dull and slow to hear God's voice? Like Jesus' time, our age is often marked by indifference and contempt for heavenly matters. Indifference dulls our ears to God's voice and the good news of the gospel. Only the humble of heart can find joy in God's grace and favor. Let us consider expanding our circle of friends and acquaintances beyond those who are traditionally accepted and respected by society. As Christians, we should strive to break free from societal norms and reach out to those in need, such as street children or homeless individuals. It may seem challenging but embracing this idea aligns with the radical life project proposed by Jesus. Are we willing to take the leap and respond to this call? Have we experienced the joy of the gospel? Lord, open my ears to hear the good news of your kingdom and set my heart free to love and serve you joyfully. 